Hi, welcome to Mildura. My name's Lee Allen and I'm the station officer for the day. Hi, my name's Caleb Sexton. I'm the second lieutenant here at the Mildura Fire Brigade. Today, we're going to take you for a tour of our brand new station. We've moved from our Orange Avenue premises to our brand new one in San Mateo Avenue, which has got up-to-date facilities and training members. The facilities here are first class, which helps aid in the integration between volunteers and career staff. So come on, let's go for a look. This is our general admin area. This is where we meet for change of shifts and have a muster. During the muster, we'll determine what we do during the day or during the night. But also, it is a room that allows our firefighters to have access to computers to do fire reports, continuation training, and also to do any other relevant paperwork that we need to do, like brigade SOPs that we're currently doing at the moment. In this area here, we store a number of different documentations from OHS forms to fire safe kids, and also your simple can I, can I. So it's just a reference material for staff inside. Also, in this area, we've got a lot of lockers for um, staff that can put their personal study books in that. And also, you can see that there is pigeonholes to put their reference material and pay slips uh, and any other documents that are required. In a duty office, this is where the duty officer from each ship will operate during the day. There's a number of different things that the duty officer will do from doing the rosters and also going onto the computer to work out different types of training, pre-plans and other requirements that the duty officer will need to do during the day. We're now in our kitchen or mess room which is where we do our meal preparation for either our day shifts or our night shifts. Each shift has been allocated a fridge including a relieving shift. There's been a number of improvements from our last station with a convection oven, dual microwaves, dishwasher and also instant hot water which certainly assists with us in our preparation of meals. We're now in the volunteer stand down room. This is a new facility for us here at the new station. It could be used by neighbouring brigades when they're required to step up and can also be used for tea and coffee facilities by our local volunteers. The room includes microwave and fridge facilities, TV and is connected to our communication system. In our gym, it contains a wide variety of health and fitness equipment. This varies from treadmills to bikes. The Brigade has enhanced this by purchasing additional equipment to help our firefighters in our recovery and also in our fitness. Mildura has a population of approximately 45,000 people, but that's seasonal depending on what time it is the year. The new station has been designed to allow for an aerial appliance to arrive. This is going to greatly assist us with our future plans. Here at the Mildura Fire Station, we have a two-bay compressor that allows us to not only fill our cylinders, but also brigades within a district. Our nearest support to us is Bendigo, which is approximately five hours away. This is our PE room, or protective equipment room. This is where we recommission our BA cylinders and ensure that all our equipment is clean and tidy. In the southwest corner of the building, we have our workshop. In the workshop, we're able to store all our hose for our trucks, any minor equipment, and we've also got the capabilities to be able to repair our hose and be self-sufficient. We're now upstairs in the meeting and training room, which is normally used by volunteers. The brigade contributed a significant amount of money to enhance the facilities of this room, which included a larger room area and a larger kitchen. This much larger room will allow community groups and other emergency services to use these facilities. This is something we're actively promoting within the community. In the engine bay, we have an electronic panel which helps assist us when there's a fire call. This panel will indicate the travel, the time, and the route that we can take. It also, during the day, provides weather information. The communication panel also helps us indicate whether the alarm has been activated, whether the staff are out, or whether we're actually set in night mode. There's also an individual panel over here which isolates both the front and the rear doors, which gives us access to be able to open and close individual bays and also activate the fans. We are now at the rear of the station. In this area is our dormitory area, which allows staff to place their uniforms and their personal items in the lockers. It also allows us to recline and refresh if we need to after a major incident. Also located in this area is a shared dormitory which allows for showers. At the moment we're on the roof above the motor room. We've had an additional platform installed to help us assist with our confined space, our steep angle and our rope rescue training. This platform is essential in our needs for being able to cater for the Lodden Mallee area. 